Dolphins fans. Welcome into Dolphins today. I am Will Scott, and on today's show, we're going to be getting you guys a comprehensive breakdown of the Dolphins' playoff picture. We're going to talk about the remaining schedule, talk about some different scenarios. Also, going to get you guys the AFC East standings as well. I do believe there's going to be a couple AFC East teams that get in to the NFL playoffs. But first, I want to hear from y'all down in the comment section. How long have you been a Dolphins fan? Go down in the comments. Let me know. I've seen a lot of y'all that watch our show bring up memories from the 72 team. Uh, so it's pretty cool to see y'all talking about that. But go down in the comment section. How long have you been a Dolphins fan? Like I said, today's show going to be breaking down the playoff picture. And a week or two ago, we really didn't have uh, any much doubt that the Dolphins were going to make the playoffs. But now they're kind of on the bubble after two straight losses. And then, of course, you have a very difficult game against the Buffalo Bills coming up this weekend. Let's take a look at the playoff picture. It's pretty crazy. Think about the fact that if the Dolphins had beaten San Francisco, they would have been the number one team that following week. Now they're number six at eight and five. The Bills, the Chiefs, the Ravens, and the Titans, the division leaders. Uh, the Bengals in front of us in the wild card race, and they have the tiebreaker since they won that game in week four. That was the game that Tua uh, was hurt, obviously, or got hurt. The Patriots right behind the Dolphins at seven and six. And then you have... The Chargers and the Jets in the wildcard race as well, but not currently in a spot. It is worth noting, both of those teams have the tiebreaker over the Dolphins right now. Uh, the Jaguars, the Raiders remain sort of in the hunt, but it's really between uh, the Dolphins, the Patriots, the Chargers, and the Jets for the final two spots. Taking a look now at the current playoff picture for the Dolphins. So week 15... You face the Bills. That is on Saturday night. Then you finally come home after a three-game road trip and face the Green Bay Packers. Week 17, you face the Patriots in New England. That is on New Year's Day. Packers game is on Christmas. And then you finish the year, week 18, against the Jets. And it really might come down to that game. The Dolphins make the playoffs or not. They're currently the number six seed in the AFC. Do you think the Dolphins will make the playoffs for the first time since 2016? Go down in the comment section. Why for yes, in for no. It is the pinned comment on today's video. So when an ad break comes, go down, chime in. Will the Dolphins make the playoffs? Why for yes, in for no. Let's talk about all these different odds right now. This is according to the New York Times, and they have a very detailed playoff website that I really like using. 1% chance the Dolphins are the number one seed. So you're telling me there's a chance. Also 1% for the number two seed. Number 3% th uh, for the number three seed. Less than 1% for the four seed. So the chances of the Dolphins winning their division right now, not high. And having a top four seed, you can see uh, just 6% there. Five seed, 13%. Six seed, 25%. That is where they're currently at. 24% chance they sneak in as the seventh seed. 68% chance to make the playoffs, 32% chance that they fail to make the playoffs after an 8-3 start to the season. We will break down the schedule here in a second. It is a difficult road ahead for a Dolphins team uh, that not too long ago was in great shape to make the playoffs and, and maybe even win the division as well. But now I'm getting a little bit nervous, as I'm sure you are as well. Before we get into more, I want to tell you about our friends over at Fetch. It's a free app that allows you to scan your receipts and earn points from your purchases. Then you can redeem those points for gift cards to your favorite stores, restaurants, and online retailers. It's super easy to use. Use the app to snap a photo of your receipts from purchases from any store or click the e-receipt option and Fetch can connect to your Amazon account, and you'll earn points for all shipped orders. Plus, connect your email to earn points for every e-receipt you receive from Uber, Instacart, or any purchase you make online. Those points then can be redeemed for gift cards to your favorite stores and restaurants. Fetch is available on iPhone and Android. Use our link, chatsports.com slash fetch. Enter promo code chat, and then sign up for 5,000 points when you scan your first receipt. That's the equivalent of a free $5 gift card to get started. It's a free app 
But those 5,000 points are only available for a limited time. Go and take advantage of the holidays. We all are piling up receipts right now. At least I am. I'm sure you are as well. Turn those receipts into gift cards to Starbucks, Target. It, it, the, great, the great thing about Fetch is you spend this money at Target for Christmas shopping, and then you can get a Target gift card for scanning those receipts. It's a great deal. Chatsports.com slash Fetch. Let's take a look at the Dolphins' remaining schedule. On Saturday night, Oh, it's Saturday night. It's a great song. They play the Buffalo Bills in Buffalo. Week 16, on Christmas Day, they play the Green Bay Packers. And then the following week, on New Year's Day, in New England to take on the Patriots. So this game and this game, the weather could play a major factor. We'll talk about that here in a second as well. Week 18 against the Jets, you will finish the season then. And again, your playoff hopes could really come down to that game, which makes me nervous. What record do you think the Dolphins will finish with? 10-7, and 9-8, 8-9? Go down in the comment section. I would say 10-7 and seven is pretty realistic, and that should be enough to get in. And here's why it should be enough to get in. Because every 2-2 two and two scenario has the Dolphins making the playoffs and doing so with somewhat of a cushion here. So... If they, and let's break down each of these scenarios. So if they go two and two, and those two wins come against Buffalo and Green Bay, 69% chance to make the playoffs. Nice. If those two wins come against Buffalo and New England, 81% chance to make the playoffs. 97% chance if the two wins come against Buffalo and the Jets, 82% chance Green Bay and New England, 92% chance Green Bay and the Jets. And if you beat... The, Pat, the Pats and the Jets, a 100% chance the Dolphins make the playoffs. Even if they lose to Buffalo and Green Bay, if you take care of business against your division rivals, the Patriots and the Jets, you will make the playoffs. The, the, the scenario is simple. If the Dolphins go 2-2, two and two, they're in. It would be crazy if they somehow went 2-2 two and, two and didn't get in. Very, very slim chance of that happening. But obviously, the games of note there that are extremely important. Every game is important here on out. But especially the games against the Patriots and the Jets because they are also fighting for playoff spots. Now, what if the Dolphins go 1-3 and three in their last four and finish 9-8? and eight? Probably not going to happen. Uh, if that one win comes against Buffalo, 14%. If it comes against Green Bay, 7%. If it comes against the Patriots, 33%. If it comes against the Jets... 45%. So if they go 1-3, and three, they're probably not getting in. They would need a lot of help. Now, taking a look at what's at stake this weekend. Again, this is all according to the New York Times. If the Dolphins beat the Bills, 83% chance to make the playoffs. They lose, 61% chance to make the playoffs, and their division hopes would be done. 20% chance you can still win the division if you beat Buffalo this weekend. Speaking of the division. Here are those scenarios. So, if you go 3-1, and one, and that one loss is to Buffalo, you're not winning the division, 4% chance. If that one loss is to Green Bay, New England, and the Jets, you still have a shot, 26% for the Packers being the one loss there. If you finish 3-1, and 26% for the Pats, 20% for the Jets, you're one loss. But if you go 4-0, which this Dolphins team, you know, they won five straight games, you know, before this losing skid, if they finish 4-0, the season 4-0, they are more than likely going to win the East. 73% chance of that happening. It's not going to be easy. Buffalo currently has a two-game lead on you, so you do not control your own destiny, even if you beat Buffalo again on Saturday. Of course, the Dolphins won that game in Week 3. The Patriots and the Jets right behind the Dolphins. So all four teams right now in the East have winning records. It is arguably the best division in football. Uh, let's talk about the Jets and their playoff chances right now. Actually, we'll talk about the Patriots first. The Patriots looking at their road ahead. It's not easy. And we just brought we just brought up the Dolphins' schedule, how difficult it is the rest of the season. It's not easy for the Patriots either, at least after Week 15. They play the Raiders, who aren't very good, but that game is in Vegas. Week 16, they play the Bengals, who are the hottest team in the AFC right now. Week 17, they play the Dolphins. Week 18, they close with the Bills. But what if the Bills already have the number one seed locked up? 
they're going to rest their starters. New England might win that game and sneak in the playoffs. Right now, the Patriots only have a 39% chance to make the playoffs, according to the New York Times playoff predictor. Right now, they're the number seven seed. They're currently in right now, at least. The Jets, meanwhile, a 42% chance to make the playoffs. It's a little bit higher for them because their schedule is a little bit easier. Now, the Lions this week, and we should all be rooting for the Lions this week. Number one, because they play the Jets. Number two, because Dan Campbell is awesome. The Lions might beat the Jets. In fact, the Lions probably will beat the Jets. The Lions are playing really good football right now, winners of five of their last six. The Jaguars are also playing pretty good football right now. Uh, they're off a big win, week 16 against the Jags. The Jags just beat the Titans and did so decisively. Week 17, they go to Seattle to play the Seahawks. That's not an easy place to play, and the Seahawks are very much in the playoff race over in the NFC. And then week 18, they will travel to Miami. Uh, that's a typo. They will travel to Miami to take on the Dolphins on the road to finish the season. But right now, they're currently on the outside looking in. But I do believe that three AFC East teams will get in. The question is, which one of those teams is going to get left out? Will it be the Dolphins, the Jets, or the Patriots? The Bills are in. They haven't officially clinched yet, but they're going to be in. But who gets left out? Because I don't think all three of these teams will make it, but I think two will. Will it be the Dolphins? Will they collapse down the stretch and choke again in the month of December? Type MIA. Will it be the Jets? Type in YJ. Or will it be the Patriots? Type any down in the comment section. This is a tough call for me. I'm going to say the Jets are the team that gets left out here. Be sure to go down, subscribe to the channel. Pretty much every week from here on out, we're going to get you guys a playoff outlook video like this to keep you up to date on what the Dolphins have to do to get in to the NFL playoffs. Again, the Dolphins trying to get in for the first time in six years.